Ram, my son. Whenever I see you, my whole body experiences a wave of joy, as if you are the embodiment of the joy. Every one of your delightful actions, like you're bursting with laughter even on petty looking things. You're trading a 500 rupee note for just a small chocolate worth rupees 5 only and still dancing with unmatchable joy. Whether it is fighting with your elder brother or getting scolded by your mom, you forgive all of them immediately and start to play with them again with equal or sometimes even with more zeal. You're finding play in literally everything. Playing while playing, playing while eating, playing while drinking, playing while walking, playing while talking, playing even while sleeping. Can you believe that? Never getting tired even after playing for the whole day. Incredible. Being and staying always joyful. Finding world of joy in any and everything including even petty looking things. Living every moment and being only in this moment. Wow son, how great! This is the best ever art of living. It is the art that people couldn't learn even after trying for lakhs of times. And you have mastered it in your childhood only? Unbelievable! Wow son, you have learned the best way of living. But Ram, my son, stay on high alert onwards because sometimes in the name of study and education, sometimes in the name of moral values and sanskaras, sometimes in the name of career and future, sometimes in the name of morality, these people this society, this system, this world may try to compel you to unlearn your art of living joyfully. Don't allow them even a slightest of the chance to do this. Beware the hollow rules they have framed in the name of discipline may try to snatch away your freedom and may push you to mental slavery which in turn may rob you of your enthusiasm, your smile and your joyfulness. Ram, my son, I have experienced that in the name of bringing smile, they teach you how to cry in different ways. In the name of getting you something new, they teach you how to lose everything in different ways. In the name of showing lovely dreams, they teach you how to sleep in different ways. In the name of getting you happiness, they teach you how to bear all the miseries in different ways. This is the strange way to live. And that is why nowadays people have to join the art of living. To learn living? Because these people, this society, this education system, this system, this world, if they have taught them any art, then it is the art of spoiling their own lives, the art of staying eternally stressed, the art of going into frustration, the art of being in depression, the art of always being sorrowful, the art of weakening themselves. The art of feeling jealous of others' prosperity. The art of living in constant fear. The art of living like a lifeless. Strange, isn't it? But the world is full of such people who have mastered these arts and hence they need to approach others to learn the art of living. However, even this is possible only for very few people because in the name of living most of the people are highly busy in dying in different ways. They are so busy in the art of dying that they don't even have time for living. 
anyways but you must always stay joyful and keep improving your art of living joyfully mark my words son only always being and staying joyful means living life and always staying in unsatisfied and or sorrowful means smothering ourselves ram my son i wish to share with you some secret life lessons so that you could improve your already very beautiful art of living joyfully actually evolution of different religions in this world is only for living happily and therefore every religion all the books related with these religions and all the saints messengers and gurus from these religions teach only same two things to stay away from sorrow and to stay closer to joy but in presence of a lot of free information we get puzzled confused and we tend to misinterpret the facts and hence eventually we may get misled to save you from this potentially misleading situation i have read most of these books and shastras and also i have studied the messengers saints and gurus deeply from these i have summarized and selected some of the life lessons that can be very helpful for you to improve your skill of living joyfully listen to it carefully and try to imbibe it into your mind and if time permits then you yourself study these shastras and try to drink the juice of knowledge out of it son remember if you could always stay joyful then nothing is impossible for you and you can do anything and you can get anything that you have ever dreamt of son where everyone dreams of being a different kind of servant right from their childhood you must try to be their boss their lord and their leader where everyone competes to imitate other's thoughts you must try to establish your own theory of everything where everyone perceives the life from the eyes of thoughts of others you must provide them with specs made from your vision son this all is very possible only if you could always stay joyful and hence always stay joyful and keep helping others in doing the same let's spread the joy everywhere and let's convert the life into a festival of never ending joy stay blessed stay joyful and keep smiling